Hello, collective. Welcome. This is Divine Empress 71. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you I hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, let's see. So this will be a uh, a general read. So you just take what resonates with you um, and leave what doesn't. So we got vibes this year. All right. So, so I don't know. You either uh, sensed something about someone, mm -hmm, or you um, leaned on your uh, intuition about about something, somebody. Mm. It's uh it was just a it was it's a feeling. Uh some sort of uh inner knowing that you got. Mm. Yeah. So some of you are very um you are very responsible. You know, you manage a lot of things. You keep things together. You know, whether it be personal or uh, would it be uh, professional? Yeah. 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 Somebody uh, may, because you are so responsible uh, for some of you, somebody may, you may have a lot of people that depend on you, mm -hmm. whether it be personal or professional. Hmm. Yeah, and then we got the runner here. Um, mm -hmm. somebody who uh, runs uh, from connections maybe somebody who likes to ghost maybe this might have been the person you got the funny vibes about mm. Mm. I don't know you, you might have had a strong sexual desire or even a sexual tie to this person too. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some of you may have have new love. Uh, you know, maybe somebody dealing with somebody new. Mm. Or maybe you will. Hmm. Mm. Yes, I don't know. Some of you done kind of, you know, bossed up a little bit. You know, you kind of did a, a lot of self-improvement. You know, some of you could be, lo you know, could have lost weight. Or you could be losing weight. Mm -hmm. Changing your uh, your wardrobe. You know, kind of, you know, spicing, spicing things up a little bit. Uh, mm-hmm. Hmm. Some of you are highly independent too. Yeah. Hmm. Some uh a lot of people like the fact that some of you like to keep it real. You're very honest. You are a you are a keep it one hundred type of person. <laughs> very transparent, uh, but you know very uh, uh, real when it comes to your intentions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't you don't hide who you are. Hmm. But. Because you are this way, for some of y'all, you could have attracted people who were the opposite. Mm. 
They were fake. Mm -hmm. They were fake. That's why you could have sent some vibes about this person. That this person was not, um, this person was on some, some other stuff. Um, yeah, and it wasn't, um, and it wasn't real. Mm. I don't know. You could have left this person behind because, uh, they could be hung up on you. Yeah. Fixated on you. Mm. Watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you were dealing with a liar. <laughs> Somebody who just painted uh, illusions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You saw them as a disappointment. Mm. Yeah. They were very indecisive, too. Mixed emotions. Wishy-washy. Unclear. Whoever this person was, you felt like home to them. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. But they might be a, be feeling a little salty though. Um. Because you don't deal with them anymore. You may have a new boo. Plus, you bossed up as well. Mm. Somebody is bitter. Mm -hmm, because you were dealing with somebody who was non-committal. Mm -hmm. And you cut them off. And they feeling some type of way about that. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah. I don't know, but you got this person. This person feels like they they effed up with you, but I, I, you you got this person feeling like they are like inadequate with you, you know. They uh, they don't really like like they don't really like how you see them. It's like the way you see them is not good, you know, in their eyes. It's like you see them as somebody who ain't shit. They fake. They were just a waste of time. They was a huge disappointment. Mm. They, they probably, for some of them, they probably didn't like the fact that you were very, you know, uh, you kept it 100 with them too. Like you very honest. Um, because for some of you, you could have been dealing with somebody who, who didn't talk to them that way. Um, they might have, they might have had, or they could be somebody that could be used to uh, being around pe people who um, enable them, you know, or they, you know, or they they feed into the bullshit. They do what, you know, like this. This you could have been dealing with somebody that got what they want, like they they get what they want out of people. Uh, uh, they don't have a problem with. Like they were used to getting people to go their way. But you probably didn't do that for some of you. They may have looked at you as more of a challenge because you kept it real. You kept it 100. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'm telling you. And then we got glow up right here again. 
bossing up and glowing up. Yeah. Some of you did some major self-improvements with yourself. Your makeup, your skin, your complexion. Maybe you get, you know, maybe you keep, you know, you got a fresh new shave, a new cut, or whatever, I, you know. Yeah, it's something different about you. And people are noticing it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you were dealing with somebody who was all about the sex. Uh, a friends with benefits type of person. And then when things get too hot and too heavy, they run. Mm. They could have had a sex addiction as well for some of them. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be into some illegal activities too. Dirty money. Mm-hmm. Money money laundering. Something. Could be this person. Or it could be just somebody you know. Hmm. So we got, um, yeah, low self-esteem or low self-worth. Uh, this card came out the other day. Um, you know, uh, some of you could have felt, uh, maybe could have grown up this way, felt, you know, you were constantly judged about because of your size and how you looked um, and things like that. Um, like you, you know, and it, and and it and it made you feel like you you were not good enough. Mm -hmm. For some of you, it it, it this this um, body shaming and whatever it, it it came from family members, and then also it could have came from your peers too, people that you might have grown up with, went to school with. Mm hmm. Mm. That's why you had um, low self worth about yourself, mm. and then on top of that, because of that, you disallowed you to attract um, people who did not deserve your time. They didn't. They didn't deserve a place in your life at all. But because you had low self-worth at that time, this is what you attracted. Mm -hmm. hmm. Because you were, for some of you, because you were low vibrational, you attracted somebody who was just like that as well. And they too could have made you feel like you weren't good enough, you know? For one reason or another. It doesn't necessarily have to be looks. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, how a person is built. But this person um, is in their feelings and they are drinking. This They, they are numbing themselves. This is how they, they are dealing with, uh, you know. These, these emotions, these toxic emotions that they have, this bitterness. You could have been dealing with somebody who was very uh, dramatic. They like a lot of drama, too. Mm. Mm -hmm. They could have been gossiping about you, too, because you cut them off. Yeah. Yeah. When you cut them off, they gossip about you. Yeah. Sp yeah, they spread rumors. Because, like I said, this is somebody who's dramatic. And they like drama. You know. And then for some of y'all, a spirit just hit me with this. 
for some of y'all, this person could have talked about you while you were in the connection with them too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I'm hearing uh, emotionally immature, childish person. Ignorant, the word ignorant, I hear that too. Mm. Yeah, you you could have been uh you could have been like a uh, emotional uh fulfillment to this person. Maybe to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For some of you, uh, you are manifesting emotional fulfillment. Yeah. Somebody who can um satisfy you emotionally. Um, somebody who can give just as much as you can give when it comes to matters of the heart. Yeah. Yeah. You would see this person has a uh they have a sorry, not sorry type of type of attitude. Like they this is somebody who is um they may be avoiding accountability. Um, mm -hmm. just a negative attitude toward what may have what happened between you and them. Mm. Cause they, <laughs> cause they are they actually, even though they are the ones that sabotage this connection, that made you walk away. They they are feeling like they pissed at you. Cause you know. As though you done them wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, I told you, this is a drama story. And this person like to do things intentionally to try to hurt you or get some sort of reaction out of you. Mm-hmm. You know, they'll do something or say something and then try to see if they can get a reaction out of you. Mm. That's so crazy. Mm-hmm. You were dealing with somebody who was a who was a show off, prideful, egotistical type of person, flashy, mm. and and very uh conceited, arrogant, and stuck on themselves. Mm -hmm. And they brag, and that's why I was saying about this gossiping. Yeah, they yeah, cause this is the type of person. This type of person, like this, yeah, this is somebody that will go back and run their mouth. Mm hmm. I sure will. Mm. But they may be going through some karma though. Something about their finances. Mm hmm. Yeah, something about their finances. They may they may have a car repo. I'm telling you, they are uh, they are salted because you are unbothered, you are unfazed. Um, like I said, and, hmm. Yeah, this person got a lot of animosity towards you. Somebody do. Mm hmm. And they could be hating too. Yeah. Hmm. They could be hating. <laughs> and they petty. And they petty. They do petty shit. God damn. Yeah, I told you they were immature. Immature as hell. Small minded, immature, just and and you know, and the drama just be so insignificant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, you had found out that this person was dealing with other people or another person. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. This person has a uh, a superiority complex. For some of them, they could be a narcissist. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Egotistical. But yet they still, but yet this is be this could be somebody. With all this that they got going on, uh, collective, they this is somebody who still tries to come off like they spiritual. But this is a spiritual manipulator. They have a godlike complex and spiritually ego egotistic. Mm. Sound like a narcissist to me. Mm. They might be feeling feeling unmotivated these days. Mm -hmm. yeah, when they when when they are not working or whatever they do, they may be spending a lot of time alone, a lot of time in the house, just procrastinating. They put things off, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm. Let's get one more of these. Mm. I don't know. But something that you're doing, or uh, will be doing, that's going to go viral. It's going to gain some sort of popularity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, because there's something about you're going to be succeeding uh, at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. I don't know. It's something about you dominating the competition. Mm. And see, I'm going to get into some tarot, but a part of this person's karma, too. Uh, is that they got to not only see you move on, uh, collective, but they got to see you do well and look and you know and look damn good doing it. Mm -hmm. They got to see you do well and looking good doing it, and probably with a new boo. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh well, <laughs> but you know they brought it on themselves. They brought it on themselves. It is what it is. Can't be. I mean, you know, just take. Uh, just, just take. Uh, uh, the responsibility for what you've done. You know, accept it for what it is. You know, just be. Be a man about it or a woman about it, and uh, and accept it for what it is. You know. King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all can see that. I, it might be. Yeah. I think that was too close. King of Pentacles. So, hmm. You could be in this King of Pentacles energy. Hmm. Now this is somebody, oh, and then we got Knight of Wands here. You know what this is. Of course, you know, this is uh, Fire Energy, uh, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, see, this old Knight of Wands, this is what you were dealing with. Mm -hmm. This is what you was dealing with. Um, somebody who was impulsive, who was immature. You know, they hot tempered because this person could have, they could have had a temper. Very rebellious, but, 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 uh, but very charming, very charming. They, and this could be a very, uh, this could be a very attractive person too. A uh, very attractive person. You know, for some of you, this could be somebody that like to ride motorcycles or they like sports cars. Mm -hmm. They like flashy things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is a player too. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who 
uh, usually this is somebody who likes to have lots of options or they normally do they have lots of options when it comes to uh, you know suitors um, mm -hmm. uh, non-committal mm -hmm. uh, they have a, a I do what I want to do type of mentality uh, really really don't give too much of crap about nobody else's feelings either when they when they do this. Yeah. Hmm. But some of you could be in this King of Pentacles energy or you could be attracting a King of Pentacles. You know, somebody who's, you know, very stable in their money. Uh, you know, somebody who's uh, not only are they you know, a good provider but they are a protector as well. A uh, very reliable person, and this could be a father or a father figure as well. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, you walked away from this person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you let go, left them behind. And they and they are feeling like a piece of shit, basically. Uh, hmm. This is this Knight of Swords uh, energy. Uh, I'm picking up that it's the same person with this Knight of Wands person. It's the same person because. Uh, he, you know, even though they are impulsive, immature, and have a temper, but they can, that, that this is somebody who, they, you know, they can be very assertive too when it, you know, when it, uh, when it comes to uh, having things to go their way, mm -hmm. very direct. Uh, and this is a uh, dare you, I dare you kind of person too, you know. Uh, ambitious at one point in time uh, when they were in your energy and when they were feeding off of your energy did you know this was a this was a highly motivated kind of person too mm -hmm. but 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 since you've been gone that motivation done went out the window <laughs> yeah very rude person this person can be rude uh, Disrespectful. Mm, two of Wands is here. Yeah. Mm, yeah. This is more fire energy. Uh, mm. I don't know. Um, see, you uh, you chose, you made a decision to choose another path. That that had to that did not involve this person. You know, you was gonna have to you was gonna have to cut this person off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you was gonna have to cut this person off. This person all this person wanted was friends with benefits. They nothing else, nothing more than that. And this is somebody who likes to be single. They like to be free. And they like to, to do them. Knight of Cups. Mm. Well, that's a good thing it didn't come out in reverse. But this is uh, more water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Mm. You may be meeting someone in this Knight of Cups energy. Uh, as well, it looks like to me that because you have bossed up, uh, uh, collected because you have bossed up and then you have you know you glowed up and all this kind of stuff, um, you are in an energy, you are in a energy or in, and in a vibe of attracting, you know. Um, 
people are, are looking at you, are noticing you. It looks like to me that some of you may have options here. Mm hmm Yeah. Because like I said, you know, you you know, on one hand, now, now I'm going to tell you, I got to go and get this out. Some of y'all will be tested. Mm hmm Because, now, because when it, if, you know, especially for those of you who, who may be dating multiple um, options here, one of one of these options um, is going to be somebody who is going to uh, have the same spirit that this past person had, but that's just going to be a spirit's way of testing you to see if you're ready for what they are getting ready to bless you with. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. Um, hmm. Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Mm, I told you, this person is bitter. They, they bitter. They, yeah, they are bitter. Mhm. Mm they feel betrayed too. And, and I and I don't know. It 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 made this this uh this defeat that they feel. It may be somewhat um, exhausting, so that's why they feel so unmotivated, or like giving up, you know, putting things off, not not really caring, you know. And this is also somebody, you know, like if they, you know, if they once like you remember them as somebody that kept themselves up and they was always looking good and had themselves together. Uh, they may have been letting themselves go. Mm -hmm. They may have been letting themselves go. May have while you know while you are losing weight and you know and going up, they are you know they could be gaining weight and you know and ain't bathing and, and you know body hygiene ain't good. I mean it's just yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Knight of Knight of Pentacles is too is here as well. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you. Like I said, you're gonna have a couple of options out here. Of course, you know, you may come across somebody who may be a little bit slow moving. They not, they not gonna be serious like right off, you know. Uh, but they, but this, but you may be meeting somebody. Like one of your options may be somebody who may take their time with you, but they're gonna be a little bit more committed and more patient, more conservative, you know, um, hard worker, you know. Mm hmm more more practical in their approach and how they do things more reliable person yeah mm. Mm. they just they just won't be in no hurry to like fall in love they're gonna want to try to you know take their time and get to know you and everything and then you know and then go from there yeah The only thing I can say is just don't just don't let them make you wait too long. Yeah. Mm hmm I told you. Five of cups, I told you. They sad as all get out. Mm hmm I told you they disappointed. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
I think that for some of them, they didn't see this coming or they may have seen it coming. But after you walked away and never looked back, they didn't think that uh, you probably would be gone this long. Some of y'all been gone for a while, long time. Yeah. Because when you, because when you decided to eight of cups them, you, you, when you decided to let go and release some of you did it for good because some of you gave this person multiple chances. So now you feel like, okay, well, uh, I'm all, you know, I'm all out of chances. And every time I gave you a chance, you keep coming back in this old same energy. You know what I'm saying? In, the, in this old same non-committal ass energy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, very disappointed in themselves. Very disappointed. Mm -mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Queen of Wands. Yeah. This is this is the energy that some of you are in. You're very passionate, determined, highly attractive person. Single, self-assured, you know, got a great personality. These are some things that this person liked about you, but that, but for some of you, even though they liked this about you, they were yet intimidated at the same time. That's so messed up. Mm, mm, mm. King of Wands. Mm -hmm. yeah, King of Wands. This is more fire energy. <sighs> I'm telling you, this past person uh, was a very daring, I think I mentioned that earlier, bold kind of person. But they had a big ass ego too. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this is somebody who could have been a boss themselves or a leader or, you know, yeah, they, they, they had a uh, boss type energy about them. Very assertive. Mm hmm. Hmm. This could have been somebody who, you know, uh, you know, they work hard and they play hard. Mm -hmm. They may have, uh, they may like to live a luxury type of lifestyle too. Mm. See, but this is you, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Very compassionate, loving person. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you may be uh, light workers or you may be healers. You know, you know, you heal people with your, with what you speak. You know, you speak in the people. Some of you may work with the sick where, you know, where you do actually, you know, help heal the sick. Some of you may be counselors where you may help people heal emotionally as well. Yeah. Mm. Very, very supportive person. Very supportive. And that's why I say it earlier that some of you you have a lot of people that really look up to you they really you know they think of they I don't know they think um I don't know you know um you have a lot of responsibilities on your plate and uh and people look at you as a very responsible person but they also may look at the, look at you as a very mature person, somebody that they can talk to and confide in. Um, you seem to know how to, you know, comfort a person, say the right things at the right time, you know, that 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 sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. And you could have been the same way to this person. 
But see, but see, what they did was because you so kind, they took your kindness for a weakness. Yeah. But see, you decided to just put your your focus into your money with this Eight of Pentacles being here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. You just decided to just commit to uh, your money, your career, you know, mm -hmm. your work. Yeah. Mm-hmm, I told you. Some of y'all were dealing with the devil. I did say earlier this person had some narcissistic ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, and, and addictions, sex was one of them, because I mentioned that very toxic does things in excess. Mm-hmm. And very codependent for some of them. And just be careful, because with some of these options, you're going to be meeting somebody. Mm -hmm. You're going to be meeting somebody. And guess what? That devil card came, it landed right up under this knight of swords. So you know that ain't nothing but a narcissist. Straight up and down. Mm -hmm. And just be careful, because like I said, you may meet somebody. Especially for those of you who are exploring your options. And you just may meet somebody who may be in the same energy as you as this past person was. But you're going to be able to recognize it though. You will. You'll be able to recognize it. Because it's going to be uh, familiar to you. You're going to know. And then and you will know to go ahead and cut that shit off. Just cut it off. You know what? It was nice knowing you. Peace. You know, that's all I'm saying. I ain't sure, you know. I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Yeah, see, I'm telling you. Some of you are being inspired to create. Yeah. That's why I was saying something about something you do going viral. Get you getting instant fame. Mm-hmm. It's something that you're passionate about. Mm. Because this is new. If you have a... Um, some of you may have a passion or a skill that you might need to start using because... This can this can bring you income. It can bring you abundance. Mm-hmm. A new financial opportunity. Mm, yeah. Three of Wands is here. Mm-hmm. See, you just focusing on looking ahead. Looking ahead. Looking ahead with confidence. Mm-hmm. Looking into your future. Because, you know, just really, you just focusing on yourself. From what I can see. You just focusing on you. Hmm. Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You fought with this person a lot. I told you this person was a lot of drama. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person was very aggressive. They, yeah. <sighs> this, and this person could have been a bully. They like to, I don't know. It's like they would be a bully to those that 
that wouldn't stand up, you know, to them. Yeah. This person uh, was uh, immature and they like to start petty fights, petty arguments too. Just start shit for no reason. You know, just start stuff for no reason. Because this is somebody that like to do little things to try to get a reaction out of you. Yeah. Hmm. Then we got three of pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. I don't know. Um, some of you could be collaborating with somebody. I don't know. Um, it could be from a, a project, or maybe you maybe you're trying to get a business off the ground. Or maybe this could be in regards to school. Some of you may be in school. Uh huh. But it's something about. You putting in the effort to reach the goals that you have set. But it's somebody that wants to work with you, though. Uh-huh. Uh, somebody wants to help you. Some of y'all will be getting help from somebody. Mm. Page of Cups. Mm. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, some of you, this person. Now I'm just gonna be honest. Some of y'all, this is for some. This past person could have seen you as somebody who was naive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they could have. Um, head in the clouds, a dreamer type. Uh. Yeah, they could have they could have looked at you as more of that too. Um along with the with the fact that you were a compassionate, warm hearted, loving, giving, supportive kind of person. But they could have looked at you as somebody who was a naive and they took that. They took that. Like this person is a straight up, you know, this is somebody I I'm just gonna play games with this person. Because, um, mm-hmm, hmm, and, and for some of you, that's what they did. They just took your vulnerability and just, it's like they just took it and balled it up and threw it right back in your face. Let's get one more. Mm. See, some of you are, are going to be attracting Ten of Pentacles. Because some of you may already be at the Nine of Pentacles. Already. Especially with you being single. Um, you know. And financially independent. But yeah. With this Ten of Pentacles here. This is about family and legacy. And leaving a some sort of inheritance. Mm -hmm. Some of you may be receiving a uh, inheritance. And a higher commitment. But like I said. Just be careful. Because you will be tested before you get it. Now, I'm going to go on and say that. Some of y'all are going to be tested. And you are, yeah, you may have gotten this past person for some of y'all. You may have got this past person out of your energy and moved on. You better not even think about them no more. You good. But you will, some of you, if you are here exploring options, you know, dating or whatever, you are going to come across an asshole. Just like what you left behind in the past. But like I said, the good thing about that is you going to recognize it when you see it. Mm-hmm. Page of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. More air. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Of course, you know. And, uh, you know, and... Um, just be careful with meeting somebody who may be, you know, chatty. If they if they real chatty, they like to gossip. Mm -hmm. This past person might have been the same way. And you know what? This past person, I did say that they like to gossip because they, they went back and, and 
ran their mouth and said some things about you that they probably shouldn't have said. Uh, this person is watching you too. Uh, and they could be looking you up. Very sneaky, trying to, you know, find some shit on you. Uh, either if it's not them, it's somebody around you. That, yeah, because it's, it, it's either them or somebody that's around you that is curious about you. And they want to find out some shit. Yeah. Hmm. So just be careful with that too. You know. Um, all right, let me get a message from Spirit and then we'll close out. us a message for the collective please a message for collective a message for collective you are so much closer to a powerful breakthrough than you may realize you have been praying for, for things to heal new opportunities to appear relationships to improve and these, and these prayers will soon be answered. Oh, wow. That's cool. So, yeah, some of these new opportunities, you know, whether it be uh, financial-based, whether it be relationship-based, or whatever, uh, Spirit is saying, God heard you. God heard your, uh, your prayers, and they will be answered. And His, but... Just remember that when God answers these prayers, when he answers our prayers, he He answers them in his own divine timing. You know? Um, but if you, if you got faith this big, you know, and you believe, yes, these things will be added to you. These things that you are manifesting, they, they, they will be coming to you. Collective. So... So that's all I have for this reading. I, I pray that it was a blessing. If it resonated any kind of way. Uh, you know. I know this is a general. So I know it won't resonate with everybody. Uh, but what you know. But if it does. Or maybe parts of it or whatever. You know. Give me a like. Uh, comment. I appreciate it. Um, if you have not joined the channel yet. I pray that you do. I would love to have you. Part of the family. And until next time, you guys, you guys have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.